Welcome to day number 16 of our 40 days of power. Today we are talking about placing a demand on the power of God. Acts chapter 3 verse 6 and 7. Then Peter said, silver and gold I do not have. But what I do have I give you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Rise up and walk. And he took him by the right hand and lifted him up, and immediately his feet and ankle bones received strength. Peter and John had no idea what would happen if they used the name of Jesus. Jesus had ascended to heaven, and they had been filled with the Holy Spirit, and they had spoken in tongues. But as yet, no spectacular miracle had happened to them. they have been in the upper room since Jesus ascended to heaven. Now on this afternoon, about three o'clock in the afternoon, they are going to the temple and they meet a man who is lame in his feet, who is sitting at the temple, one of the gates of the temple. And the man, as his custom was, asked them for money, for survival. And for some reason, Peter and John felt that, you know, why don't we test this promise that Jesus gave to us? He said, in his name will work miracles. Why don't we try it? So they said to the man, well, we don't have silver and gold, but what we have, we are giving you. In the name of Jesus Christ, rise up and walk. And amazingly, the man rose up and walked, and walking and leaping, praising God in the temple. That day, a spectacular miracle was observed by onlookers, and the disciples discovered that Jesus was still with them. But they did that because at one moment they decided, let us put this to practice. You know, it's, it's okay to learn so much about the power of God and hear everything and hear sermon after sermon and pray and pray. But at one point, you have to exercise your faith. You have to place a demand on what you know. You have to do, let what you have learned do something to you. And you can never know the power of God until you make a demand on it, like the woman with the issue of blood made a demand on the power in Jesus. The disciples also made a demand on the name of Jesus. They've been told it will work, so they put it to the test. Christianity is not just about being cautious. Yes, we have to apply wisdom, and we have to be wise, and we have to be a sensible people. But there comes a time when we put our faith on the line, when we trust God, When we supernaturally say, Lord, you promised it, I believe it, I'm putting it to the test. So during these 40 days of power, as you have received so much power, why don't you put the name of Jesus to the test? Why don't you pray for somebody? Why don't you uh, command something into existence? Somebody says, what if it doesn't work? You lose nothing. You, You weren't doing it before. And if it doesn't happen, you weren't still doing it. So nothing is lost. But what if... You place a demand and you see the supernatural power of God. And I believe really that is what will happen. That when you place a demand on the name of Jesus, power will accomplish uh, the work of God in your life. So today, let's place a demand on the name of Jesus. And if you're ready to do that, why don't we share a word of prayer together and say with me, Heavenly Father, thank you for the authority you have given me through the name of Jesus. Today, I step out in faith, trusting you that your name is still powerful and your name still works miracles. I thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, my friend, go out and place a demand on the name of Jesus. I am Pastor Mensah Otabel. Shalom, peace, and life to you.